In this segment, we're going to take a look at uh, Waldo and Pearl Riffenberg and kind of take a little different tact because Waldo was a, a lawyer for many, many years in Fort Collins. But the reason he's associated with education is that he served on the school board for many years and uh, actually helped start the, the Colorado Association of S School Boards. And his wife, Pearl, taught for a period of time in the Fort Collins School District, and their influence was very important. Uh, they do now have Riffenberg School that was named for them. The Riffenbergs are portrayed today by two people who were recruited from the local storytelling group that does work with our school children, the Spellbinders, uh, Philip Cogan, and Tinka Greenwood, who is a retired teacher from Poudre School District. So let's take a look at this segment. We are so very happy to have you here. And I want you to know that when a person is honored by being named, having a school name for them, it's not just that it's because they were a pillar of the community. It's because they were people of integrity and they were people of foresight. My husband, Waldo, was a man who loved this community. He, my husband, and Maury Nelson, and Carl Carson were the men that were instrumental in starting our Lincoln Center. True. If we go back to the beginning, I have this great story to tell. Go I mean, ahead, Walter. Do you remember the storm of 1897, the great storm? By January the 12th, the snow was two feet high. The midwife came and she only got there in time to cut the umbilical cord. Waldo was a problem even then. <laughs> I was born in Holyoke, Colorado, so I'm a Coloradoan, yes, as indeed you are. Absolutely. Holyoke at that yes. time had a one-room schoolhouse. I left school at 11th grade to go to Denver University. But after one year, I was called up. It was World War I, except we didn't call it that. We called it the Great War. But for those people in the trenches, and I never went to Europe, they didn't call it the Great War. They called it the most miserable war I've ever had. And they didn't like it at all. So I started off as a private in the medical corps, and then I became a second lieutenant in the adjutant general's office. And that might have got me going, because after I graduated in 21, I went to law school, and then graduated in 24. But we really should talk about our marriage. We met. Tell them, Waldo. In Greeley, on a blind date. <laughs> Got married a year later. I had to get Pearl out of Greeley. I'm so glad he did. <laughs> We've been in Fort Collins ever since, since 24. I did. It was love at first sight. And my Waldo has always called me his little brown eyes, yeah. or his little woman. We've always, we've been in love since the first time we met. Waldo, can I tell them the I story? I think it was the first time. It was, my dear. <laughs> Could I tell them yes. the story about the diamond ring? Yeah. You know, back in when Waldo first started practicing, times were a little hard for people, and they couldn't always pay him for his legal services with actual money. That's right. And one time, one of his clients paid him with a ring that was, do you remember what that looked like, Waldo? It was huge. It was a diamond ring. Obviously, it was worth my time. And it was, <laughs> obviously, and the, the diamonds or the jewels on it went from the ring all the way up to the knuckle. Well, I am not, I'm not a fancy woman, and I never wore diamonds, but Waldo and I never had children. But our niece Doris was like our daughter to yes, us. Yes, she was indeed. We loved her so much, and she was vis visiting one day, and we, we thought we'd like to give that ring to Doris. And at first she refused it. She said, I don't, I don't like diamonds. She thought much. it was paste. She did. <laughs> Rhinestones. But she humored us. She did take it. She went home and she gave it to a jeweler friend of hers to inspect. Two days later, you remember this, yes. Waldo? He asked you to sit down. I'll yeah, sit down. Said, while you, why don't it. you sit down, Waldo? Whew. Um, so the jeweler called and said, Doris, are you sitting down? And she said, no. He said, you'd better sit down. 
He said, the ring that you gave me that you thought was made of rhinestones, it's all diamonds, and it's worth over $12,000. So I was right in the first place. He my lawyer, is. My lawyering was interesting because I did some lawyering when, I, when there was prohibition on, and I did two things. I defended bootleggers, and later on, when I was in the district attorney's office, I prosecuted bootleggers. <laughs> so I'm really glad prohibition was over, and then I got into a state law probate and wills. It was kind of boring. Waldo was never a boring man, though. He was busy at all times, and he was well-loved in this community, as I was saying. Well, tell them how long I was in the school board. Waldo, I don't even remember the years, but he was president of the school board. For 14 years. For 14 years. And my husband was the man who first started the retirement fund for teachers in our school district. Yeah. His mother was a teacher, and of course I was a Pearl teacher. Pearl was a teacher, but just for two years, so she doesn't get a pension. But I married Waldo, so <laughs> I'm well taken care of. We've been married for 44 years. 44 years. I think we're doing pretty well. We're doing fine. Yes. We're doing fine, my dear. What else have you done? Oh, I've been uh, involved with the symphony and with the oh. Kiwanis, and, uh, well, it goes on. And... Waldo, he said, is tone deaf, but deaf. But he's very, he's very musical. Talk about the piano. All right, uh, Waldo, for our was it our tenth anniversary? We invited all our friends over because I was giving you my first baby grand. Yeah. I love to play the piano and I love to entertain our friends. You had teas on a Sunday. Teas and Waldo's favorite dessert. Chocolate chocolate brownies. Mm -hmm. He loved my cooking. I do. And many times um, on Christmas, we would take our friends for a drive to look at the Christmas decorations. Mm -hmm. And then we would return home to our house for a Christmas Eve dinner. One of my favorite things was, even then, was to ride the trolley. Yes. One of the things that yes. you can't believe is all those years it's been running, it's been a nickel. And, and it is to today. It's all the way around town. Those are some of the well, best, good memories. It's the best memories. Oh. And our dear friends, um, our dear friends, uh, the Carsons and the Nelsons, Maury Nelson and My Waldo partners. were partners. And as I said, we never had children of our own, but we actually kind of adopted Maury's children. And we have so many, many wonderful memories of those children. And we used to travel together and celebrate their birthdays with them. Our law offices, you remember the middle of town, Linden and College? That's where I first started out. It's changed a little bit, hasn't it? A little it? bit. Just a little yes, bit. we've become yeah. a big city today. The college was, was here almost before anything else was here. And, of course, that was when it was the Aggies. Right. Do you remember right, that? Right. Yes. And the, first, the first street that was named, and this is a little bit of history for you, was Jefferson. And the only reason they called it Mountain later on is because they weren't facing east when they would have called it Plain Street. They're looking west and called it Mountain. They're looking east, they would have called it Plain ah. Street. <laughs> oh, wow. Tough audience. Wild. Well, it's cold. It's, it's cold. cold. <laughs> One of my greatest pleasures is being here today and being honored for a community service person, yes. 68, and there's rumors that there's one award that's been only given to 26 people to date, yes. might be given to me in 1970, just might. And that's the Cumu Community Builder Award. Yes. And that would be my greatest achievement. I just feel sure that it's going to be awarded to Waldo. Thank you. I, oh, oh. I'm so proud of you, my dear. I should kiss in public mm. now. Oh.